Hola, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, you know, I just thought I would hop on here and share a little something that I went through yesterday. It was kind of weird because I went through like so many different things. If you didn't see um, in one of my videos, I don't know if it'll be before this one or after, but um, in one of my videos, um, I talk about how I've just been having a really weird week this week. Um, not that it's bad. It's just uh, life, you know what I mean? And <laughs> it's so weird how like our brains work sometimes, you know? Like I was just totally finding myself just thinking of these random moments in my life. And I don't know, maybe something subconsciously like triggered me, but I was thinking specifically of this time. Um, Oh, what year was it? I can't even remember. Maybe 2003 or four. I'm not sure. One of the two. And I was getting looked at by WWE at the time. And I went, I would get, what would happen if you're unfamiliar with how it works? I don't know if it still works this way. I think it does. Um, when you get looked at by WWE, they usually will give you a look-see when they're in your town or they're somewhere nearby your town. And they'll invite you to come on down, um, give you a little tryout, you know. And so whenever they would come to SoCal, I, there there was a little Shelly desire um, with my black hair and all, just eager. And um, I don't know why this particular time just stood out to me because they didn't hire me after this. I mean, they hired me after this happened, but it took for me to have to get looked at another time uh, for me to get hired. So I guess that's what I mean. Sorry, I have Fred right here, so it's a little distracting, but bear with me if I seem a little distracted or whatever. I'm just trying to take care of this little Mertz right here. So, um... One of the, what had happened is I think they were in, yeah, they were in Anaheim and then they, after they were in Anaheim the next night for SmackDown, they were going to be in San Diego. So it was, I can't remember, I, I want to say it was San Diego, but it could have been Anaheim. Um, I just remember just really tripping out because at this point I had been at multiple tryouts. I was already getting familiar with not only the people in the office that like do the hiring and stuff like that and some of the agents but with some of the wrestlers and that was really cool for me because some of these wrestlers were people that I was a fan of and it wasn't like I was like oh ooh, it's so and so it was like these really cool moments would happen when I would have different tryouts where I would just like organically have a cool conversation with like somebody uh, somebody in particular that stands out to me is Nydia um, I don't know her well. I just know her from seeing her here and there. But I just remember at that, that time in my life and where I was in my career and in just being a young gal, a young gal about town, trying to make her dreams come true, you know. Um, Nydia, I just feel she was there for me. I don't know what that means. She'll probably never see this video. But I just feel her energy got me and like she was sending me positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? So like little things like that would happen and I would watch Nydia do her thing and I'd just be like, dude, like she's crazy. Like she's so badass. Like she's just like goes for it, man. Like damn, this chick, you know? And prior to like getting to know her, uh, you know, going to these different uh, tryouts, I mean, I knew her like most people did from doing the Tough Enough, you know what I mean? So to me, maybe I felt more like I could be open with my energy with her because I saw her in this like vulnerable, vulnerable time where she was like, just like I was right there trying to get a job. And, you know, even though her path was a little different, it's still the same journey, you know what I mean? Oh, it's a battery low, so... Ay, ay, ay. It's just one of those things where like I things like that would happen and then like there would be people that I was a fan of and they just weren't nice to me and I'm not going to say who because I'm not in the business of gossip and all this and it doesn't matter. 
it's just like, yeah, it happened and it sucked. But oh well, like that's life. That's not just how wrestling is. That's how life is. Like, and I was very used to that. So I almost felt like, oh, okay, this is like how it is for me in LA. So that's, I know how this is. I, I can survive here. Um, so anyways, that's jumping ahead. Going back to that trip. I remember there was these gals, they were twins and they were referred to as the Coors Light Twins. Do you remember them? Do you remember the Coors Light Twins? They're hot. Um, and I, I don't even know. I can't even tell you if I had a conversation with them or said hello or introduced myself. The only thing I can tell you is for years, I don't know why, like since it happened back in the day to just yesterday, randomly, I remember this moment. Okay. I don't know why, but I thought, why not do a YouTube video on it? Because like, usually when I like say how I feel like publicly and let those vibes out, the answers just kind of come. So, so I remember I was just kind of tripping out because I really felt that my time was coming soon. I felt it. I felt that I was going to get hired soon. Um, and so maybe I was kind of looking at everything through a different lens, like, oh my gosh, this is really going to happen. So what am I getting myself into? And so that's when I would become like a fly on the wall. And I would just trespass in these different moments. And it was so cool to see these different moments that people have no idea I even saw because I was like right there. And one of them was with this Coors Light uh, twins. And I remember they were with Johnny Ace and he was, he seemed like he liked them. Like he was smiling. He didn't seem like he was fake smiling or anything. Um, he seemed like he was like, okay, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. And I know when a man is enjoying the company of a lady by that look in their eyes. I'm not saying that he was like flirting with them or coming out. I'm not saying that at all because that was not what was going on. I'm just saying that he was into engaging with them. He was interested. Um, and so I remember I was watching this moment and then I watched them realize, okay, cool. Maybe we're going to get hired. He seems to like us. Again, that's what I mean. I'm not talking sexually or anything like that. I'm talking about just like, oh, okay, maybe these girls, yeah, and I'm enjoying this conversation. So then I hear him ask them, what's your age? How old are you girls now? And one of them, I can't remember what she said, but it was dancing around it. And then that's when I saw his vibe change. And he was like, no, okay, I need to know. Like, how old are you now? And then they kept dancing around it and almost having like a snippy kind of sassy answer. Um... And then I just saw that smile and that look in his eyes go away. And I was like, dang, like, I wonder why they don't say because they look really good. Like at the time, like I wasn't in the best shape and I was like, man, they're in like amazing shape, way better than me. Like, what's the problem? Like they look good. And of course they didn't get hired. And so yesterday for the first time, I was like, what happened to those girls? Like, cause I had that moment where I thought of it that I was right there trespassing in that moment and then I looked them up and that's when I read I realized that they were involved with UPW which is this uh, was a SoCal um independent school and fed and at one time WWF had their um their developmental there and so that's where like John Cena and Victoria went so um when I realized that's where they came from, I was like, okay, yeah, that's right. It kind of makes sense now because I, I remember hearing the Coors Light Twins, the Coors Light Twins. And I flirted with w, your UPW, but I was never really like a official UPW girl. Like, you know, I was on some of their shows. I trained a few times. But I wasn't like one of their like girls, right? So I remember hearing about their names a lot and whatever, but okay. And then I realized that they were actually under contract and they retired early 2000. So that must have been the year I got to go look back again 
where I trespassed on this thing. And it's like, what happened? So there you have it. Like, I don't know why I think about that moment from early 2000s to yesterday. I don't know why it took me that long to try to look them up and see what's up. And by the way, there are, there's not much on them. And I just find it interesting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like videos like this, let me know. I love sitting down and chit-chatting with you. Make sure to subscribe and watch my videos. Even if you have it on mute in the background, I just need those minutes so I can get my channel monetized again. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned. I have lots of fun stuff coming to uh, you guys. I was gonna, I was going to say something quick and funny, but then... I decided not to, and I'm not even going to reshoot this. I'm going to let this crappy part, me having my, okay, Shelly, that's wrap it up moment. Anyways, until my next video, I'm Shelly from Kelly. He's Fred Mertz, and we'll both be smelling you later. Adios.